see this done now that it's work. Is it working now? Can you hear me? No. No? Loud? Okay. Thanks. Yogi Berra once claimed that he never said half the things he said. Well, I never did half the things I got credit for. <laughs> Shirley Bandy looks out for our partnerships. My daughter Elizabeth looks after mine. They both know how to use computers and stuff. <laughs> Nancy Schaefer solves immediate issues, and she knows where all the keys are. <laughs> We should celebrate that the downtown has reached a tipping point for success. Credit goes to, among other things, I made a list uh, about a year and a half ago of 43 young ladies that were invested in a business or a building in the downtown. DDC, the Development Commission for the Downtown, had a big role. It had to do something to create a little excitement at first, and we took something relatively small but important, and we lit the park. Um, that's lost a little momentum. I think you're going to see it come back. Um, but the most important thing among the many things the Downtown Development Commission did was they acquired a special development area granted a dozen liquor licenses. There were no liquor licenses available, and if you bought one, it was twenty-five dollars or $30,000. These cost $2,500, and they're meant for restaurants and breweries. That started a real boom that encouraged entertainment. Um, changes in builder, building ownership is the next big thing that happened. Um, a lot of new people got involved in buildings, and among them are the young three amigos. I see them around here. They're called that because Chris and Tom and I were called the old three <laughs> amigos. They took on South Paint Street. We were mostly working on North Paint Street, Water and Second, and boy, did they do something. They took on a great big old iconic building, set up loft apartments, a children's museum, 50 West taking on the old uh, Huntington Bank building, and Paper City Coffee. I, I don't know if you know how cool Paper City Coffee is and, and what their mission is. And I don't know how many people here might take the Wall Street Journal, a week ago Saturday, there was a full page ad on touring Ohio. And it brought people up from Portsmouth into Chillicothe and told them to have lunch at the Paper City Coffee. Uh, if you didn't see that, don't worry. I'm having about 100 copies printed. <laughs> a great group of ladies is going to take on uh, Light the Park. I expect most of you will hear from them before very long. Um, I, I did fundraising the first year. I twisted arms, I made phone calls, I enlisted a lot of help, and I saved my favorite letter from Matt a long time ago. Dear Mr. Ed, I like the idea of lighting the park, and I want to help you with the project. So I am enclosing my check for $12. Please pardon me for not signing it, but I want to remain anonymous. <laughs> I, I have a modest Proposing. Wait. I have more than one. 
and most of them aren't modest. <laughs> Socrates was a Greek philosopher who went around making good proposals. They poisoned him. <laughs> so I'm going to pass on my proposals. <laughs> We have momentum now. I think it's unstoppable. I really think that, and I know a little inside information about seven or eight really neat projects that have been being developed during COVID that are gonna take place. Uh, I think by the fall, 14 months from now, this downtown is gonna be the, one of the top tourist attractions in the area and when they get here we can tell them about everything else and send them to all the magnificent things in our town thank you very much <laughs>